All right. Your first stop on any of our maps should probably be one of our community centers. There's a community center on every map, and probably about 95% of them are currently our lovely Pokemon characters. So if you are unsure if you have found our community center, if it looks like a Pokemon, you are probably in the right spot. All of our community centers have a variety of tools for our users. And one of the reasons we recommend starting at a community center are the freebie boxes. Every community center is going to have a selection of free items, teleporter remotes, some shiny items for tracking shiny dinos, soul guns, and soul balls to get you started. Some of the other useful things you'll find in the community center are some of our basic workbenches that you may need. Um, everything from the tech stove to a chem bench, a replicator, and just about everything in between. So all of our major tools that you might not have unlocked yet will be available here for you to use. Most of our community centers also have a space for people to log off if you are away from base and need a space to crash out while you log off for a while, here's a place to do so. This is not meant as a long-term option. We do recommend everybody create their own base to log off on, but if you just need a quick place to crash if you need to log off in a hurry or you don't have a base built on the map quite yet, you have a safe space to log off. In all of our CCs, you're also going to find some more freebie boxes. These are player donated freebie boxes. So the contents will vary from time to time. You should find a free dino box in every CC where you and other players can leave dinos you don't necessarily need as a gift for other players. These can vary wildly from the very common to the very rare so you never quite know what you're going to get. We do ask that folks be reasonable when taking dinos from these. Please don't take every single dino out of the box. Take what you need and leave some for others. There's usually also some fridges where you might find eggs that people have picked up along the map, sometimes fertilized, sometimes not, as well as other perishable items. You can also usually find boxes for things like free skins, tributes and boss items, chibis, tools, armor and weapons, and a variety of other things. Our community centers also have drop-off boxes. If you are a Patreon member or you are ordering something through the admin, you will receive a box in one of the community centers where you can pick up any items that you may be receiving. In our community centers, you'll also find things like our converters, which we'll talk about shortly. And each community center should also have a teleport and a transmitter that are available for players to use. The last and most important thing on the community centers are the rewards vaults. Each community center will have at least one reward vault. They look like these little vaults stuck into the wall. And when you open it up, you want to look for the reward menu down here at the bottom. And then on the left, you'll see a wide variety of options. Not all of these are available for players, but you will find some very useful things. For example, under dinos, we have some of our dinos of the month and different animals that you can purchase using our in-game currency of arc bars. Arc bars are earned just by spending time in the game. You can also get them as rewards for different events and find them in certain drops such as cave drops um, here on RAG. One of the best places to go is the Ice Queen Cave and the, uh, the Golem Cave to find some good cave drops with arc bars. They're also free items. So if you look under free, we tend to have a couple of different options. You get a free stat wipe and a free mind wipe option in here should you need them. There are different kits that you can purchase. So let's say you are looking for those elusive plant species R seeds. There's a pack that you can purchase here along with many other items. For brand new members, 
we recommend going to Starter. And you'll see two options, Starter, Griffin, and Just Plain Starter. If you go to Starter, you're going to see you have a whole bunch of different options in here. You're going to get a campfire, your first soul ball, some stone building materials to make your first temporary base, some tools to get you started, a bed, and a free griffin along with a dino tracker. We recommend you start out with this one rather than just starter griffin as this one gives you a lot more options. So don't forget, check out the rewards vaults. The starter pack is free. There are occasionally other free items available and other items can be purchased using our in-game currency of ARC bars.